Hello all. In this video, we will study about the pharmacological actions of histamine. If you want to know all the pharmacological actions of any natural ligand like hormones or neurotransmitters like histamine, if you want to know how they work, you need to have complete knowledge about their receptors. So to know the pharmacological actions of histamine, today we will study about the histamine receptors. Now histamine receptors are G protein coupled receptors which bind histamine as their primary endogenous ligand. So histamine bind to the histamine receptors to produce the effect or response. Currently four type of histamine receptors have been identified H1, H2, H3 and H4 receptors out of which H1 and H2 receptors are low affinity receptors means histamine has low affinity for H1 and H2 receptors as compared to H3 and H4 receptors. H3 and H4 receptors are high affinity receptors. H1, H2, H3, H4 receptors are coupled to different G proteins like GS, GIO and GQ protein. Because of these different G proteins, the effector pathway or mechanism of action by which these receptors work are different. Now we will study about the receptor type and effector pathway. H1 receptor is coupled to GQ protein. H2 receptor is coupled to GS protein and H3 receptor is coupled to GI and GO protein. So because of these different G proteins, the effector pathway of all three receptors are different. H4 receptors are very similar to H3 receptors in their structure and effector pathway. Now activation of H1 receptor stimulates the calcium mobilizing pathway. That is phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate is hydrolyzed to inositol triphosphate. This inositol triphosphate releases the intracellular calcium. Phosphokinase C activation occurs and nitric oxide is released. This released nitric oxide diffuses to the nearby smooth muscle cells and increases the cyclic GMP and causes the relaxation or dilation of the blood vessels. Whereas H2 receptors is coupled to GS protein and activation of the H2 receptor enhance the cyclic AMP accumulation. Activation of phosphokinase A causing the relaxation. Adenyl cyclase activation occurs, cyclic AMP increases, phosphorylation of specific proteins occurs and the relaxation or dilation of the blood vessels occurs. Now H3 receptor is coupled to GI and GO protein. So H3 receptors work by decreasing the calcium influx through the G protein coupled N type calcium channels by restricting the calcium influx. Potassium channel activation occurs and cyclic MP is reduced. H4 receptor are similar to H3 receptor in effector pathway or the mechanism of action by which the H4 receptor is similar to the H3 receptors. Now individually we will see what are the pharmacological action of these receptors. Now H1 receptors activation of H1 receptor causes contraction of the smooth muscles, intestine, airway and uterus. Bronchoconstriction and contraction of the gut or intestine are mediated by H1 receptor. Now histamine causes uterine contraction but magnitude of this effect in human is very small. But in anaphylactic reactions where large amount of histamine is released it can initiate abortion in pregnant women. Now histamine also causes contraction of the gastrointestinal smooth muscles. It causes the contraction of the intestine or the gut where only large doses are able to produce diarrhea. So histamine causes contraction of the smooth muscles like intestine, airway and uterus. Effect of activation of H1 receptors on blood vessels. Histamine causes vasodilation of the arterioles, capillaries and venules. This causes fall in BP. Vasodilation occurs. How this occurs? H1 receptor stimulates the calcium dependent activation of endothelial nitric oxide synthase in the endothelial cell. This endothelial nitric oxide synthase enzyme causes the release of nitric oxide. This released nitric oxide diffuses to the vascular smooth muscles, increasing the cyclic GMP and causing the relaxation. This effect is rapid and short-lived vasodilation.
so rapid and short lived vasodilation occurs on the activation of h1 receptors now we will see triple response if histamine is injected intradermally it produces triple response this is the triple response a localized red spot which is then converted into a red flush or flare extending approximately 1 cm beyond the original red spot and then it is converted into a veil that is visible in 1 to 2 minutes and occupies the same area as the original red spot at the site of injection so this is the triple response if the histamine is injected intradermally a localized red spot which converts into a red flush and then a veil the histamine produces edema and urticarial effects of the histamine on the skin that is hives hives occurs on the skin during the allergic reactions now how these hives are produced histamine increases the permeability of the capillaries and the post capillary vessels it results in passing or uh, moving of the fluid and proteins into the extracellular space and it produces edema hence histamine is responsible for the urticarial effect on the skin or hives which are produced during the allergic reactions larger arteries and veins are constricted by the histamine in the sensory nerve endings it produces the effect of pain and itch afferent nerve endings pain itch and indirect effects histamine stimulates the various nerve endings and sensory effects in the epidermis it causes itching in the dermis it evokes the pain ganglionic cell stimulation occurs and in adrenal medulla release of the catecholamines occurs that is stimulation and release of adrenaline occurs which causes the secondary rise in blood pressure in brain histamine works as a neurotransmitter activation of h1 receptors maintains the wakeful state whereas both h1 and h2 receptors participates in regulation of blood pressure body temperature fluid hemostasis and pain cessation so activation of the h1 receptors will cause the wakefulness and antihistaminics will cause or will induce sleep now h2 receptors main function of h2 receptor is acid secretion vasodilation and contraction of the heart gastric glands histamine stimulates the secretion of gastric acid and pepsin through direct effect on the h2 receptors of the parietal cells of the gastric mucosa which is mediated by increasing the cyclic amp generation which activates the membrane proton pump h plus k plus atpase and it will increase the acid secretion in the stomach effect on the blood vessel is vasodilation both h1 and h2 receptor causes the vasodilation activation of the h1 receptor causes the calcium dependent activation of Uh, this endothelial nitric oxide synthesis in the endothelial cells and nitric oxide is produced the in produced nitric oxide diffuses to the vascular smooth muscles and causes the increase of the cyclic gmp which causes relaxation this effect is rapid and short lived in contrast activation of h2 receptors stimulates the cyclic amp and phosphokinase a pathway and causes the vasodilation this effect is slower and more sustained in heart histamine shows the positive chronotropy and positive inotropy positive chronotropy is increase in heart rate and positive inotropy is increase in contractility histamine increases the force of contraction of both atrial and ventricular muscles by promoting the calcium influx and it speeds the heart rate by accelerating the diastolic depolarization of the sa node in uterus in the rat it causes relaxation h2 receptors in the brain it works as a neurotransmitter okay now we will see about the h3 receptors h3 receptors are mainly present in the brain or in the cns especially in the basal ganglia hippocampus and the cortex h3 receptors work as a auto receptor on the histaminergic neurons inhibiting the histam histamine release now h3 receptors work as a auto receptor what auto receptors do this switch of the neuron switch of the release of the neurotransmitters 
in the histaminergic neurons these h3 receptors are called as h3 autoreceptor whereas in non histaminergic neuron it these h3 receptor will be called as h3 heteroreceptor now suppose histamine is released from a histaminergic neuron so some of the released histamine will activate the h1 and h2 receptor and produce the response some of the histamine will be metabolized to n methyl histamine some of the histamine will act on the h3 receptor and will inhibit the further release of the histamine and also some of the histamine will act on the h3 heteroreceptor and will inhibit the release of these neurotransmitters also so if we give agonistic of the if we give h3 agonist h3 agonist will inhibit the release of the neurotransmitters and if we antagonize the h3 receptors antagonism of the h3 receptor will enhance the release of the neurotransmitters like histamine acetylcholine dopamine norepinephrine or others so h3 receptor agonist which will inhibit the release of the neurotransmitters they promote sleep and if we antagonize these h3 receptors h3 antagonist produces the wakefulness enhances the cognition learning and memory therefore they can be used in the excessive daytime sleepiness such as narcolepsy parkinsonism and because of the enhanced cognition effect h3 antagonist can be considered beneficial in the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that is adhd and in alzheimer's disease and in schizophrenia also h3 receptors in the brain presynaptically inhibits the histamine release and causes the sedation okay h3 receptors are expressed in the central nervous system to lesser extent in the perif peripheral nervous system so in the central nervous system they act as a auto matlab uh, everywhere they act as a auto receptor in the presynaptic histaminergic neurons and controls the histamine turnover by the feedback inhibition of the histamine synthesis and release we already discussed it the h3 receptor has also been shown to presynaptically inhibit the release of number of neurotransmitters that is it acts as a inhibitory heteroreceptor in uh, this inhibits the release of the dopamine gaba acetylcholine noradrenaline histamine and serotonin therefore it causes or it induces sleep H4 receptors are very much similar to the H3 receptor in their mechanism of action or effector pathway and in the structure. H4 receptor is expressed on the cells of the immune system like mast cells, monocytes, eosinophils, dendritic cells, T cells, natural killer cells. In the peripheral tissues, they are present in the spleen, thymus, colon, blood leukocytes and bone marrow. its expression being induced or altered in the response to the inflammatory stimuli h4 receptors appear to have higher affinity for the histamine as compared to the h1 receptor h3 and h4 receptors have high affinity for the histamine as compared to h1 and h2 receptor activation of the h4 receptors causes the movement or, or causes the leukocyte chemotaxis leukocytes move from the blood vessels to the site of inflammation H4 receptor antagonist may be clinical uh, may have clinical potential in treatment of neuroimmune disorders and potentially also neurodegenerative disorders where inflammation and immune mechanisms play crucial role So thank you very much for your time and attention if you like the content of uh, my videos please like them and share them and uh, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected for the coming videos